Hey fans, welcome back to Moby Zone. Today we have some exciting news and leaks to dive into. The iPhone SE series has always been praised as a great choice for folks who want the iPhone experience without the hefty price tag. And it looks like the upcoming iPhone SE 4 is going to keep that tradition alive. Apple has a track record of giving budget-conscious users a solid experience, and all signs point to this year's release being no different. Recent leaks making the rounds on Twitter have spilled some beans about the iPhone SE 4. One of the standout features is Apple's decision to use an OLED display, which is a big deal because OLED offers better visuals and is more future-proof. According to the leaks, the iPhone SE 4 will sport a 6.1-inch OLED display, which might not sound super fancy in terms of refresh rate, but having OLED is a big step up for the overall user experience. But that's not all. The iPhone SE 4 is rumored to pack a bunch of other cool stuff aimed at giving you bang for your buck. Thick maximum 1080p video recording, a smart photography mode powered by AI, Wi-Fi 6 support, 6GB of speedy RAM, a Snapdragon X70 modem, and more. So even though it's budget-friendly, it's not skipping on features. When it comes to looks, the iPhone SE 4 seems to take cues from the iPhone 13 and iPhone XR. It's made from sturdy 7000 series aluminum with glass panels on the front and back. You'll get Face ID support on the front and a single camera setup on the back. Under the hood, it's expected to pack Apple's powerful A16 Bionic chip, along with a U1 Ultra Wideband chip for better connectivity. As for when we'll see it at the shelves, there's some speculation but nothing concrete yet. Early 2025, possibly March or April, is the best guess based on past releases. But hey, things could change, so we'll keep our eyes peeled for any updates. What are your thoughts on the iPhone SE 4? What are your thoughts on the rumored features? Are you excited about the potential upgrades? Drop your comments down below. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and subscribe for more tech content. Thanks for joining us today on MobaZone, and we'll catch you in the next one.